Welcome to this segment of Soul Luna Cycles brought to you by Be Simply. And we are in the eve of the new moon on a calendar date known as December 23rd in a year that will be known as 2022. And the new moon was at its peak at 2.17 a.m. on the western coast of North American continent. And as that new moon energy continues to stay with us in this moment, and whenever you find this meditation, it'll be the perfect moment for you. And as I always encourage, a new moon is a time to really listen. And this moon falls in the window as we enter into um, winter and summer on planet Earth. And so as we enter into this winter procession, uh, it's to be noted, uh, many have celebrated solstice, uh, which was marked on December 21st. And it's important to remember that uh, these calendar dates are really uh, just a mile marker, help us have a conversation, but it's really attuning to how astronomically the planets and the stars and the sun, which is a big, is a star, but is our, our star, um, communicate. And then we have this interface of the moon that has an impact on many things here on planet earth. And so when the new moon arrives, we enter into this new lunar cycle. And this is cycle 11. And it'll go into uh, the Gregorian New Year. So I point this out because if you start to attune yourself to the lunar cycles, you will start to have a different rhythm than one that's mandated by this calendar. <laughs> So many of you have been feeling the push and the pull and the sieve uh, that is asking you to extract things on a deep, deep cellular and soul level. And as you release this energy, you might be really amazed at what happens. So from my observation this deep, deep healing that's occurring on a soul level is lifting off. However, it's not comfortable. Uh, it can feel like, ooh, I want to hold on to this or what do I do with this? But I really encourage each and every one of you that's experiencing this, let it run through. Let the river run through. So for our brothers and sisters in the North American continent, we have entered into water season and this is that season to allow the energy of water to work with you. And obviously in colder regions, it's the water's frozen, yet it's still flowing. And that, that freezing is really holding some information for you. And then as we progress through winter, it'll melt away and that full release will happen. But it's beginning right now. So... As you continue to flow into this lunar cycle, I encourage you to really listen deeply and pay attention to your highest expression, your intelligence, your wisdom keeper. This is a very important aspect of yourself and one that's being distracted on many different methods through technology, through the discomfort when we feel things ready to lift off. Uh, it's all these energies are bouncing around like little um, balls in a, or little popcorn pieces popping around in a popcorn popper and suddenly it gets really crowded in there and uh, once it stops it's like ah if we can pour those out so if you uh, pay attention not only to what's ready to leave what will happen is it'll, it will be like a clean slate of snow where it'll be like, ooh, I can't even 
access what just happened. (laughs) And that's a beautiful thing. What that means is that any of the traumas or wounds or any of those things will be at neutrality. And once something comes to neutrality, you're free of it. You've reconciled it. It's at peace. And more than likely, the other people involved might be closer to peace with you if there were any involved or they're getting ready to be at peace. So when we take one condition out, that allows for more uh, movement and evolution and transformation. So as we go into this meditation, I welcome you just to be as still as you can be in this moment and really feel into the field of stillness as a response to the agitation that's been taking place over this past lunar cycle. And as we enter into this one, uh, really that space, that pure snow that's being laid is going to prepare us for incoming uh, jolts. That's how I will call it. And that process, it's kind of like a medicine ceremony when you're going in, if you've ever done a plant medicine ceremony or an extended meditation sit, when you go in, uh, it's not comfortable at first. And then when you finally settle in and are on the other side of all that stuff you're aware of, uh, then you can be more present with the messages, the guidance, and your own inner knowing as to what direction you're to flow with. And it's all these attachments, all these things from our past that keep us anchored in a place that we don't belong anymore. And astronomically and from the Earth's energy, we're being asked to just release it and let it go and create the space to be still. So also to note that as we enter into this winter season and summer, Brothers and sisters in the Southern Hemisphere, this is a time of action and creation and building. And for our brothers and sisters in the Northern Hemisphere, this is a time for stillness, incubation, uh, really preparing yourself for that yang energy as it springs up in us around springtime. So take this time, create the space. It doesn't mean that you stop moving forward, but it's a different type of rhythm. And that way you're putting things in place so that you can start to harness that yang energy by spring. So think of it that way. And then also with this energy that's uh, clearing for us, it's literally clearing for us, uh, think about you know, the word fear in the sense that you don't need to hold on to that fear. All you need is that courage just to sit in it and allow it to lift off. For some of you, this might have already happened this week. For others, this will continue. Um, And then uh, we're going to be ready for that jolt in the near future that will direct us very clearly And so let us just be with all those words and let them wash over you. Even maybe forget them for this moment. You can come back to this later if you wish. And I just welcome you to come up into an upright seated position. And as we go into the seated meditation, I welcome you just to be. Just be with the energy that's in and around you and that which you are in this moment and welcome you to have a soft gaze at a focal point or if you're comfortable close the eyes and then follow the breath if you become distracted go back to that focal point and as you continue to flow with this energy that's you allow it to lead without being captivated or even wanting to engage with it just observe taking a nice gentle breath in and out again inhale and exhale
another one. Inhale. And exhale. Gently from there, just observe your natural breathing pattern.
gentle breath in and out of your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual being. And then gently, without staying where your presence is, just recline into Shavasana, corpse pose, aka prone position on your back. Alternatively, you can curl up into the fetal position on the right or left side. And then gently from there, reconnect to your natural breathing pattern. Allow that to be your focal point as you lead into and receive these sound transmissions.
Mm-hmm. 
center. Gently breathing in and out. And as you bring your awareness back to your physical body and your surroundings, just take another deep breath in and out. Good. One more inhale. And exhale. And then, if you wish, you can stay in the position you're in or rise up into a seated position simply by rolling over onto your right or left side, pushing back up. Lifting up that spine and taking another deep breath in. And out. And now as you move gently into the next, I really welcome each and every one of you to take a moment for yourself and just let it all simmer with you. And as inspired, just sit with where and how you can bring into balance your selflessness, your inner communion with your eternal being, and how that can nourish and balance your entire being. Until next time, this is Suzanne signing out with the full heart, a soft gaze, a gentle smile, a deep bow, and a namaste. Be simply. Thank you.